Today, I would like to tell you a story about sludge. Once upon a time, inside a sludge tank truck, there is one little sludge feeling worried about its fate. Hey, buddies. I am the newcomer. Do you guys know where we are going to? Hey, kid. Don't worry. We are going to a park. Park? Is it a wonderful place for having fun? No, its name is Tea Park. It is a facility equipped with advanced technology for treating sludge. Sludge? What is sludge? Oh god, you even don't know what we are. Let me tell you our characteristics. We are semi-solid slurries and commonly produced as sewage sludge from wastewater treatment processes, or as a settled suspension obtained from conventional drinking water treatment and numerous other industrial processes. Industrial wastewater treatment plants produce solids that are also referred to as sludge, whether generated from biological or physical chemical processes. So, you have mentioned sludge treatment. What is it exactly? For general knowledge, sludge treatment focuses on reducing sludge weight and volume to reduce disposal costs and on reducing potential health risks of disposal options acting on the human. Water removal is the primary means of weight and volume reduction, while pathogen destruction is frequently accomplished through heating during thermophilic digestion, composting, or incineration. The choice of a sludge treatment method depends on the volume of sludge generated and comparison of treatment costs required for available disposal options, while tea park that we are on the way to has adopted incineration. Incineration? You mean that we are going to be burnt? Absolutely. We will be sent to an incinerator for combustion. The heat energy generated by the incineration process boils the water to produce steam, which then passes through a turbine to generate electricity. We will stay in the incinerator which reaches a temperature above 850 degrees Celsius for at least two seconds in order to control the formation of organic pollutants and reduce greenhouse gas emission. At the end, our volume is reduced by up to 90%. Then, we will be sent to landfills for disposal. 850 degrees Celsius? It sounds terrible. Are there any alternative options for treating us? we can be used for land reclamation. This method is widely used in foreign countries, especially in the United States because of a series of advantages. We have several characteristics that makes us suitable for reclaiming and improving disturbed lands and marginal soils. One of the most important thing is that we have abundant organic matter which can improve soil physical properties by increasing water holding capacity, increase the soil cation exchange capacity, supply plant nutrients, and enhance the rejuvenation of microorganism populations and activity. It sounds great. What are steps of sewage sludge application process? You want to know the step? Yes. So, why don't we pass the time for four students to present their topic about the feasibility of land reclamation using sewage sludge in Hong Kong? Good idea.